Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do is gonna be a new one in my declutter series and I am going to be declutter, I'm sorry, we, Aries and I, are going to be decluttering my highlights. So here are all of my highlights. I will link my declutter playlist down below and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so back with a new declutter. I'm excited to do highlights if you guys know me. Hi, it's Samantha, it's my dog Aries who has to be in all of the videos, but I definitely used to love highlights a ton, a ton, a ton. I still do love highlighting, don't get me wrong, but I feel like I'm a little bit more low key these days. I'm not quite as intense with my highlights as I used to be. I even have some days, shockingly enough, where I don't wear highlights. So I feel like I can do a really good job decluttering. Like I've been saying my declutter series, I moved recently, I had to downsize in space, and I just don't wanna be keeping around makeup that I'm not using. And I've definitely been going for you know a lot of my favorites when it comes to all of my makeup, highlights included. But let's go ahead and jump in. Um, so off the bat, I see the one from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Beauty Light Wand Highlighter in Pillow Talk. This is so beautiful, one of my favorites. I rave about the Charlotte Tilbury wands. I'm actually almost out of this one. I can feel that it is pretty light. It takes a while for me to kind of push up product because it has, this is so hard to do over my dog, um, but it has this floof ball applicator as I call it, but it's so beautiful. I love it. Definitely keeping it until I run, you know, completely out of it. Next up, I have this one from Rare Beauty and this is the liquid highlight and I have the shade Enchant. This is one that I just really never got along with. The first few Rare Beauty releases just really weren't for me. Um, but you know what's funny is like, this one is a little bit more on the natural side, which is why I initially didn't like it. When I was pulling out all my highlights and I saw this one, I was like, oh, maybe I could keep that one around because, you know, makeup preferences are changing a little bit, so maybe I'll like this one a little bit more. But I still just don't think I would reach for it very often. Uh, I just, I didn't like the way that it looked on my skin. And I was keeping it around for a while because I was like, you know, Rare Beauty is a newer brand. I like to have you know, it's the products from them that I've purchased. But like I said, I just don't want to keep around makeup I'm not using. So I am actually gonna put that one in my declutter pile. Uh, let's see, next up I have the old staple, so many of our first highlights. I know a lot of you have told me this was your first two. This is Mary Luminizer from The Balm. I think there was a point in time where I was trying to pan this, which is just like hysterical to me, like, the, like <laughs> will that ever, no, it's never gonna happen. Let's just, let's just go ahead and admit it. Um, but this is the Mary Lou. You know, I haven't been wearing her as much, but doing this video, I'm like, I kinda wanna pull it back out and get some more use out of this one. I just feel like the Mary Lou is gonna be so hard to ever declutter. I'm just, I'm not ready to do it. So I'm gonna keep that one around. And then from Buxom Cosmetics, this is their white Russian highlight. Now I really did like their, what they call them, their Wonderlust blushes. I, you know, I like Seychelles a lot, Dolly, and I was really looking forward to trying out this highlight, but unfortunately I just didn't feel like it did much. Um, I'm probably not gonna swatch everything because it's kind of harder to do and I know it makes the videos longer and all of the things, but I just, I didn't feel like it really did much. So I was kind of disappointed by this one. So I really never reached for it. So I'm gonna put that one in the declutter pile. Next up, I have this one from Lawless Beauty. This is the highlight that they have in Afternoon Delight. So this one is a little bit more on that gold champagne side. You can see I've, you know, kind of wiped away the L and the A, some of the A there. So I do like this one. I haven't reached for it for a while, so I was kind of going back and forth. Once again, Lawless is that brand that they don't have, you know, every single product released yet. And I bought this one myself. I like the brand a lot. Um, some of the newer releases, not so much. I did just mention those in my last ranking video um, for my makeup monthly. But I think I'm going to hold on to the highlight for a little bit longer. So... I'm gonna keep that one. From Persona Cosmetics, I have their Cali Glow Highlighter in Zuma. This is another one that I was looking at. It's just one that I don't wear very often. It is definitely very golden. It's just slightly too dark for, for my skin tone, and I haven't reached for it in a while. I do really like Persona Cosmetics but I feel like I'm just not going to be reaching for this one. And it's so pretty. I know quite a few people that I could pass this one on to. So I'm actually gonna declutter that one. It kind of surprises me. Initially, I really thought that I was gonna keep it, but I'm gonna declutter that one. Next up, we have Cookie from Benefit. This is one that I've been going into quite a bit recently. This is a little bit more of a pinky highlight. I don't really like the box packaging, not really my favorite from Benefit, but this is a really pretty highlight. Like I said, I've been using this one quite a bit recently. So I'm gonna be keeping that one. 
Another favorite of mine, of course, is the Natasha Denona Super Glow. This has been a highlight that I have loved for such a long time. One of the first products from Natasha Denona that I was like, wow, dang, like, okay, what's this brand about? Hey. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping my Super Glow. I use this one really frequently also. Uh, this one here from Nabla Cosmetics. This is their Skin Glazing Glass Finish Glow Powder in Amnesia. This one, it's not bad. Kind of what I said with like the Nabla blushes, I think it was when I did my blush ranking is like, it just doesn't really stand out to me a lot. Uh, it's one of those highlights that I feel kind of sits more on top of my skin than blends into my skin. Uh, so I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and declutter this one from Nabla. I just don't think I would reach for it all that much. Uh, next up, I have a couple here from Dose of Colors. So one is in collaboration with Desi and Katie, and this was Fuego. Now, I bought this because so many people raved about it. It sold out right away. It came back. I made sure to get it on the restock, but I really just don't reach for it very often. I don't know. It just it never really was a favorite. I love the packaging. I love the sparkliness of it, but I just don't think I'm going to wear it. So I'm going to declutter that one. And then the other one is the collaboration with I Love Sarah E. And this is in Bathe. And this was one that when I first saw it, I was like, no way is that one going to work on me. I thought it was going to be too deep, but it's actually really beautiful. This has been a favorite highlight of mine. I feel like the formulas are a little different also. This one is a little bit softer, a little bit more blendable and kind of blends into the skin a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and keep Bathe around. I don't think either of those are available anymore, but I still really do like Bathe. Uh, all right, I have a couple here from Auric. These are the Glowless. So this is Samantha Ravendell's brand. So I have Morganite and also Pyrite. And I do know that I have Selenite too. I'm just not sure where it is at this moment, but I do know that I have that one. Um, so I wear Morganite the most and I wear this as a highlighter. I wear it mixed in with foundations. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can wear because they call these a radiant luminizer. So Morganite is the one that I use the most. And I do also use Selenite, which I I was looking in my bathroom for it. I don't know. I haven't fully unpacked yet, which sounds terrible. Um, I've been here for almost six months now, which is so wild to think about um, that I moved from Iowa to Vegas six months ago. But I know that I wear that one, so I'm gonna keep this. Pyrite is one that I don't particularly love on me. It's a little bit more on the olive side and it just doesn't go with my skin tone the best. I did get these sent in PR. I got three shades sent to me, but Pyrite just doesn't work the absolute best for me. So I'm actually going to declutter this one because I know I'm going to keep the selenite too, but I'm going to declutter this one and, you know, hopefully someone can get some more use out of it because it just doesn't, you know, fit with my skin tone the absolute best. Uh, okay. I have a couple here from ColourPop that I have been eyeing. So one is one of the Super Shock highlighters, and this is in On the Cusp. And I really did like this one. If anyone remembers like my love for Flexitarian, like that love was real, but look at On the Cusp. Like I kind of forgot how much I enjoy that one. And then another one was from the Cinderella collection. This was Horse and Carriage. Yeah, Horse and Carriage was this one. And this one was super beautiful also. But I think I'm going to actually declutter horse and carriage and keep on the cusp. I do really like the Super Shock highlights. I like the Super Shock blushes too. But I, I just going through these and like pulling out all of the makeup that I hadn't unpacked yet. I'm like, oh wait, I'm finding some products that I really do want to get some more use out of. And I would say that for on the cusp. So I'm going to keep and then declutter. Next up, I've been looking at this one from Fenty Beauty. Ah, so this is the Fenty Glow Highlight. This is one, I want to say I bought this in like a set or something like that. I think it came in or like a Sephora favorites or something along those lines. Why can I not open this? Well, we've had a casualty, so darn it. That, that was fun. But um, I remember when I reviewed this one a while ago. Ah, blanket. I remember reviewing this one a while ago and just saying that I didn't love it because it's a very sheer highlight then with just a lot of glitter to it. I do know some people that really do like the Fenty highlights though because they like that glittery look so I know that I could pass this on to someone who would get more use out of it but I don't put I like more of a glow versus actual glitter for my highlights so I just don't think I'm going to use this so I'm going to declutter that one. Uh, next up from Melt Cosmetics, I have their Sex Foil Highlight, and I have the shade Stargazer. So I bought this one recently from Sephora. I've put it in a few follow-up videos um, with my reviews. I really, I didn't love it though. People mentioned to me maybe trying it on, you know, shoulders, collarbone, things like that. Even some people told me they mix it in with foundations, put it on their legs. So I think I'm going to try to repurpose it for, you know, other reasons than just highlighting my face because I felt like I had to use too much and just take too much time to build it up. So I still want to keep it though, because it's, it's newer to me. You know, it was more expensive. I want to see if I can get some use out of it. So I'm going to hold on to this one for now. 
And then from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I have the Amrezi highlight. Man, I have been staring at this one and staring at this one. This is one that I never really got into the hype about. So many people fell in love with this highlight. It's pretty. I just, I never lost my mind over it. I had a subscriber send it to me as a gift and I, I have such a hard time parting with gifts that I have received, but I've been trying to do better because like I said, I just, I don't have a lot of space. Um, I don't want to keep a bunch of makeup around for, for, you know, if I'm not using it. Um, it's kind of hard to give this one up because it was limited edition and so many people, you know, were raving about it, but I honestly just don't think I'm going to be reaching for it. So I'm going to declutter the Amrezi. Oh my goodness. This is, this is, this might be my ruthless, most ruthless declutter yet. Like I thought my face palette declutter, look, Aries is like, ma'am, 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 are you doing okay? Ma'am, I'll take the Amrezi off your hands. I'm not sure why I think Aries all of a sudden has a Southern accent, but there we go. Um, but man, yeah, this one, this is pretty ruthless. Uh, so next up, this is from Lunar Beauty. So this is Manny MUA's brand. And this is the Moon Prism Powder. And this is in the shade Venus. Once again, I had a subscriber gift this to me. It's a nice highlight. It's one of the, maybe the only product that I've tried from Lunar Beauty, perhaps. And it's, it is pretty. I just, once again, I'm just not reaching for it. I'm reaching for some of my favorites a little bit more. Again, some of these that are a little bit more golden aren't usually my favorite. If you've noticed, um, like what I'm keeping and what I'm decluttering, I'm kind of decluttering more of the gold and keeping more of like the pearly type of highlights. That's just kind of what I go for. So I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to declutter it. This is wild to me. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is wild to me. All right. And then last but not least, we have the one from Jaclyn Cosmetics and this is the loose highlighter in Bomb. So this is my only loose highlighter, not my particular, you know, favorite way to use, um, to apply highlight. I just feel like it's a little bit more difficult. <sighs> my initial thought was I was going to keep it, you know, I got the scent in PR and I was thinking about keeping it around, but I'm not gonna use it. Like I just, I know, like I know I'm not gonna reach for it. I know I'm not gonna wear this. So why would I keep it around? So I'm also gonna declutter that one. This was wild to me. This was wild and this was more than I thought that I was gonna do. And I came into this thinking I was gonna be ruthless. Wow, let me pull everything out and we will see how I did. Okay, I don't know if this has ever happened. I feel like I usually end up keeping more than I declutter, but this is my declutter pile and I'm decluttering 11. This is my keep pile and I am keeping nine. This was a little crazy. To, I, I, again, like I said in the beginning, I felt like I was gonna go a little ham on this one in particular, just with my makeup preferences right now, but I really went in. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. Uh, again, the ones that I'm keeping are either the ones that I'm wearing all of the time or the ones that I want to get more use out of. And I'm really happy with this. I feel proud. I feel good. I feel good about this, y'all. Uh, so that is it for my highlight declutter. Let me know what you would like to see for my next makeup declutter video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give this one a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go. And I'll see you in my next video.